Is anyone else just exhausted by how everything needs constant repair? Is this just a man problem? Can confirm that women deal with the same endless broken stuff problems. Female friends who live in households without men have to deal with all of this. My husband tends to deal with stuff that requires more physical strength than I tend to deal with. Stuff that needs more delicate mending. I always seem to have a pile of stuff to mend. Current things include the kitchen clock, a pile of jeans, some headphones, the rips the cat made in the sofa. I have a bunch of small stuff that needs gluing back together. The toilet seat needs replacing. Sewing machine needs a service. A picture which fell off the wall last week needs putting back up. It is endless. Women don't have a solution. We are fed up with it too. Maybe owning less stuff? But I don't live by that rule. Life is 90% maintenance. One thing that can help is trying to reframe the situation in your head. Rather than persistently losing a battle against entropy, you are perpetually winning the fight to keep your stuff in good working order. You are proving how skilled and motivated and useful you are each time you do these things. Take pride in these little tasks. Are you taking like in your house? Hell no. Is not a man problem. My husband is a musician composer. He does not fix anything but his own gear. I take care of, or call help for, all repairs. I am 69. Woman. Men own stuff. Women own stuff. Some men have enough money to replace a broken item or have someone fix it. Some women have enough money to replace a broken item or have someone fix it. Some men can afford to hire someone but choose to fix it themselves. Some women can afford to hire someone but choose to fix it themselves. Some men are broke and their only option is to fix something themselves. Some women are broke and their only option is to fix something themselves. Some men know a friend or family member that can assist with a particular project. Such as a brother that is an electrician. Some women know a friend or family member that can assist with a particular project. Such as a brother that is an electrician. As you can see, women generally have the same options available. Depending on their particular resources. Nope I have the same issues. I am a woman and have to do 90% of it but I rent so some of it my landlord takes care of. Perhaps you need less stuff. Sometimes it can feel like drowning. How do women deal with it? We were programmed from birth pretty much. Three meals and snacks every day. Laundry. Wa the same items again and again in. I once mopped the kitchen floor three times in an hour and a half. Why? I moped then went to the bathroom. Came out and sun is standing in front of the sink. Mop it again then answer the front door. Return to kitchen and my daughter is tracking up my wet. Floor on her way to the laundry room. Mop it again. Go to clean the bathroom. Here refrigerator door open. Husband is getting a glass of tea. Because things are designed to break because if they didn't, companies wouldn't make a lot of money. I was at a friend's mother's friend's house today, helping her move some stuff out of her garage. She's 85 and has been in her house for 60 years. At one point I grabbed an old snow shovel to shovel some snow. And the difference between that shovel and every other snow shovel I've used in the past 15 years was astounding. It was just a shovel, but I could feel that it was actually well made. It's such a rarity anymore. Consequently, everything around us is breaking all the time. This is a general human problem. Chaos is the source of all things. And humans try to organize the chaos. We cannot do this. So it's an endless cycle of trying for the unattainable perfection. Women deal with this by maintaining, cleaning, and repairing things. I've owned a very old house alone for enough years that nothing surprises me anymore. 
whatever can break, sometimes catastrophically, often hilariously, and always inconveniently, I've seen it and had to handle it. Paying someone isn't as easy of an option as you'd think. Even when money isn't a concern, I can, and sometimes do, but finding reliable repair people isn't easy, and they're still not here when the original thing happens. So even if I find someone, there's triage I have to handle. It's super annoying. As a woman I fix things myself. I actually enjoy fixing and repairing things. Um no. As a lesbian in a marriage. We don't hire people to fix our problems I generally deal with it. And last I checked I have a vagina and I'm a woman. This is not exclusively a man problem. Definitely a perception issue. I really can't imagine anyone that is single as a lady or two ladies in a marriage or constantly hiring men to fix their issues. That's just obtuse. Really weird that you made home maintenance a gender issue. May want to look into that. But yes, I feel the same way about my property. This is the reality. Always has been always will. Best we can do is try to invest in solutions that will lead to lower maintenance down the road. Do you think only things that men own break? The less stuff you have the fewer things there are to break. If you insist on having stuff, make sure that stuff is as basic, no frills, not cool as possible. The more moving parts, literally or figuratively, a stuff has the more likely it is to break. Find happiness in simplicity. I feel you 100%. It gets worse. This is so real. Makes everything feel like an act of futility sometimes. It feels like half of the life we spend awake is spent maintaining everything tears of joy. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.